Hmm? 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 Hello, so we are back and this time we have a proper nice laptop here. Check here. Dell Alienware. I mean, this laptop is mad expensive. It's so expensive I could not give a prepare price to the customer. I said, you know what? Let me check first. And after that, I'll give you a price. So let's see what the customer is saying. Uh, Dell Alienware M15 R7 does not power on, no lights present. Turn off in the evening, next day no sign of life. So this laptop is dead. Hmm? Dead dead. Uh, I will not plug the charger because we don't know what's going on inside. I will say, let's open first and uh, check whatever we have to check. And see what's going on there, huh? What do you think? Good idea. And the laptop, it's open. You clearly, someone, uh, someone check this laptop. Yeah. So let's disconnect the battery. The battery is disconnected. Let's check with the multimeter. So we have ground, we have few resistors here, 4 ohms. <laughs> I mean, clearly those, you know, you see these big current resistors are not connected to ground. Yeah, short. Capacitor, one side, 4 ohms, on the other side, 0 ohms. So clearly, the main power rail, it is shorter. I will say, let's uh, open the laptop. And, you know, just follow the normal uh, procedure in order to find whatever is shorted here. Okay, no one took out the motherboard. But it's pretty sad. You pay a lot of money for a laptop and you think you will get a better quality. But, you see, those uh, expensive laptops, they end up probably like normal laptops with shorted MOSFETs, that CPU, that GPU, that chipset. Okay, so I believe the motherboard is out. Wow. Proper nice. Proper clean. I think I had only one uh, this uh, new Dell for repair and of course I could not uh, fix it so we have AMD right yeah let's take the heatsink out and the heatsink it's out nice heatsink Bunch of uh, drivers there, coils here the same. I'm curious what can go wrong on this motherboard. Now let's grab the thermal camera. Let's check one more time the main power rail, which is here, right? Capacitor, you have, yeah. 0 and 4 ohms. Okay. So let's come with the power supply. Let's lower the voltage. About 1 volt. Ground. And we have plus. And it's taking 1 amp. 1 amp, the CPU, <laughs> lol, it feels bad, man, you know, if it was the GPU, we can disable the GPU, but not the CPU, not the CPU. Uh, okay, let's see which, uh, let's see which, uh, which uh, driver it is, or we don't know, probably we can't even figure it out. Huh? Your opinion. 
all are looking the same. So I believe this one is gone. That's what I believe. Let's remove it. And the driver is out. Let's see if we still have short. No, it's not short anymore, you can see. Zero ohms. No, it's not short anymore. So we took out the burn one. Now you know what, just having in mind how expensive is this laptop, I mean, this CPU can be replaced very easily. I mean, it's like, you know, it's smaller than a chipset. You can do it with the hot air if you can find the, the CPU. But let's see, let's see if the CPU is still good, it will come on. Let's put back the heatsink. Okay, so the board is on place. Plug in the battery. Let's see. Good. Pressing the power button. It's coming on, check that. We have the RGB. The fans are spinning. The fans stop spinning. And this is a good sign. This is a good sign. Because we reset the bias, right? Now the fans are spinning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still have the RGB on the keyboard. We have picture, that's crazy. That's insane, how we can have picture? I mean, this is a miracle. I never ever found a gaming laptop with shorted MOSFET. And actually, the CPU is still good. How this is possible, I don't understand. Oh, sorry, we don't have hard drive. LOL. That's crazy. Huh? Let me block the hard drive. Not sure if you miss my point, yeah? You have a charger, a 300 watts charger. When uh, the MOSFET is getting shorted, the CPU is getting the whole 300 watts. I mean, it's not getting the 300 watts and, uh, you know, like 1 volt, 300 watts. No. It's getting the full voltage and full current. Do you think actually Dell managed, you know, to find some uh, miracle solution against shorted MOSFET? Because I don't remember to find, like, gaming laptops with CPU is still good after a shorted MOSFET. Yeah, it's working. Check here. Escape. Uh 
I'm not sure what the laptop one with the network media. So what's wrong with this? I, the, the hard drive is inside. Do you think the chipset is dead? Can be. No, the, the hard drive is there, 256 gig. The hard drive is there, so why is it not working? Do you think the Windows is installed in Legacy? Boot options, let's see. The hard drive is not there. So the boot mode, UFI, secure boot on. So why is it not working? Because the hard drive it is plugged in. Do you think actually the customer uh, wiped the hard drive? I'm not sure about that, but let me use my hard drive. Yeah. Can be a dead chipset, can be. Remember the SSD tracks are going straight to the chipset. No, it's loading the windows. LOL. It's working, that's crazy. So you ask yourself how it's working without the 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 R MOSFET? This what, which is all in one, inside you have like two MOSFETs and you have a driver of the MOSFETs. Um, it's working and it will be working fine. But it's a lot of pressure on the other uh, MOSFETs, left MOSFETs or drivers or DR MOSFETs. So, of course, has to be replaced. Being dodgy and not replace it? No, that's not an option. Not on this one. I mean, okay, it was like Russian roulette and the CPU is still alive, but you really want to replace that MOSFET, yeah. But it's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, let me shut down the laptop. Perfect. I'm going to get the coil measurements next time when the chip arrives, and um, I will share with you in case you have this laptop for repair but that's crazy you know what i mean hmm? okay so i'm gonna stop now i will order the chip probably from china and uh, see you on the next one yeah yeah